This is amazing. Now we are going to fine tune Jamma model using Hugging Face Transformers. If we see Jamma 7 billion parameter model, this is not instruction fine tuned. So if you ask a question like this, quote, imagination is more important than compute, you are getting an unstructured data. But we need a structured data for quotes. So we are going to teach the large language model English quotes and we are going to tell we need more structured data. Currently, this is how we receive the output. But we are going to fine tune so that we get a structured output like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about fine tuning Jamma model using English quotes. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. This is the configuration I'm using. And here you can see the memory and the number of CPUs. First step, conda create hyphen and jamma python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate jamma. Now pip install bits and bytes, peft, trl, accelerate, data sets and transformers and then click enter. I will put all the information in the description below. Now we are going to create a file called app.py and let's open it. So first import os, then import torch, then auto tokenizer, auto model for causal lm, bits and bytes, lora config, load data set. SFT trainer. Now we are going to do four steps. The first one is configuration, then data loading, then before training, then we are going to train the model and we are going to again print the result after training. So first configuration, we're going to provide the model name, bits and bytes configuration, loading in four bit and we are providing NF4. Next we are defining the tokenizer, then we are providing the LoRa config with query projection, output projection, key projection, value projection, and few more. And the task type is causal LM. That means it is going to predict the next token from the previous token. Next, we are loading the model, and now we are printing the model. So bits and bytes, generally for using the quantized version of the model, which means you can train a large language model in a low spec computer. Next, we have tokenizer. This is used to convert text to numbers in simple terms. Next, we need to identify the target modules. So how can we identify this? Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and click enter. So this will automatically download the model. You might need to request permission for using the model. So for me, you can see you have been granted access to this model. So you might need to request access. There's one more step you might need to do, which is exporting the Hugging Face token, which you can generate from Hugging Face website. So once you export the token like this, then click enter. Now you're ready to run Python app.py and then click enter. Now the model will automatically download and you will get a response like this. So here you can see query projection, key projection, value projection, output projection, and then gate up projection, down projection. So we are going to use these in our target modules here, as you can see. Now step one is completed. Now we are going to load the data. Data loading and mapping. So we are using the English quotes data set from Hugging Face. Next, we are mapping the data. Now the third step before training. So in this, we are going to create a function called generate text. It's going to get the input, send that to the large language model, then return the output. Finally, we use tokenizer to decode it. So what does this mean? So when you give a text, it needs to be converted to numbers. So using tokenizer, you are converting those to numbers and the large language model don't understand text. The large language model understands numbers. So we are speaking the large language model's language. So the large language model will process the response, which means it will predict the next word and again gives out numbers. Then again, we are going to use tokenizer to convert those numbers back to words. So tokenizer is nothing but a translator in simple terms between English words and large language model. This is just for a basic understanding. So as we've seen in the picture, we are giving the text and converting that to numbers using tokenizer. So then that number, which we can try print out, is being sent to the large language model to generate text. So once that is generated in outputs, we are again converting that numbers to text using tokenizer. Now I'm going to show you how these numbers will look like. So before training and calling the function. So now I'm going to run this code. 
python.py. So you can see first the input in numbers format. So our text is quote imagination is more. So that is converted to numbers here. Then the large language model processed the request, generated the response, and this is the response as you can see here. So this response is again converted to text and you can see it's printed here. So currently it's unstructured. So it says quote, but it doesn't say author. So that is before training. So our ultimate goal is to print the author name in more structured format like this. So now let's perform the training. I'm going to delete these printouts. So the fourth step after training. So here we are going to use SFTT trainer. So we are going to provide the model, the training data and other information. Here you can see the formatting we are expecting like this. The quote is like this and then it's going to provide the author name like this. So this is a structured approach. So you can modify this based on your needs. So now the trainer function is ready. Now we are going to call the trainer function dot train. This will initiate the training. Finally, we are going to print same as before print after training generate text quote imagination is so this is going to print out the whole quote with the author's name. So as a quick summary, we define the configuration, we loaded the data, then we are using SFT trainer to train based on the format we want. And finally, we are printing out the response. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter. And before training, this is how it is. Now I can see it is getting trained. You can see the loss is going down, which is good. And finally, we got the response here after training, then it completed the quote and it gave the author's name and from which book it's taken from. So it's understood that this is how we are expecting the format and it gave this format as well. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to try various things in regards to training a large language model. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.